Hey guys, welcome to the Tenorshare channel. WWD C24 has successfully concluded, and the newly launched iOS 18 and iPad OS 18 are now available for beta testing. I'm sure you've seen many YouTubers posting videos about the new features. Are you eager to try them out? Next, I will demonstrate how to download and install the iPad OS 18 beta on an iPad. First, you need to confirm whether your iPad supports the update to iPad OS 18. Here, I have listed the upgradable devices. If your iPad model is not on this list, unfortunately, your device cannot be updated to iPad OS 18. Next, you need to open Settings, then select General and Software Update. If you have previously installed the iPad OS Beta, you will see the Beta Updates option here. Select iPad OS 18 Developer Beta to get the iPad OS 18 Beta Update. If you haven't installed the Beta before, you need to visit beta.apple.com. On this page, tap Sign Up, then sign in using the Apple ID logged in on your iPad. After registering, your Apple ID will be enrolled in the beta software program. Then go back to the software update page, refresh it, and you will see the beta updates option. Then select iPad OS 18 developer beta. Go back and you will see the iPad OS 18 beta update. However, if your device's iPad OS version is below 16.3, you need to download a profile from the beta page to get the beta update. After installing the profile, you will see the iPad OS 18 beta update option in software update. At this point, wait a moment and don't rush to update. Because before updating, you need to do three preparatory steps to prevent update failures. Step 1. Backup iPad data. Before updating, it is recommended to backup your device data using iTunes or Finder. If you want to downgrade back to iPad OS 17 later, you can use this backup to restore. Connect your iPad to the computer. Open Device Management and select Backup Now to save your iPad's data. Backing up is mainly to avoid data loss in case the update fails. Step 2. Check iPad storage and battery. First, check if your iPad has enough battery to complete the update. If the battery is below 50%, please charge it first. Then open iPad storage to check the free space. To update to iPad OS 18, you need to reserve 16 GB of storage space. If the space is insufficient, it may cause download errors or the iPad to get stuck on the Apple logo in the update. Step 3. Use a proper network connection. Choose a faster Wi-Fi connection. If your Wi-Fi has 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz options, it is recommended to connect the device to 5 GHz Wi-Fi to complete the update download faster. Now you can proceed with the iPad OS update. If your device still cannot update, I recommend using a computer to perform the iPad update. Currently, the update channel on computers, except for the latest macOS system, has not yet been released. You will need to wait for some time. When the update channel is released, I recommend using Tenorshare Rayboot to update to iOS 18 and iPad OS 18. You just need to connect the device to the computer then select iOS Upgrade slash Downgrade. Here you can perform an iOS 18 update or downgrade to iOS 17. After the iOS 18 Beta Update channel is enabled, you can choose 18 Beta here to download the update. Once the firmware download is complete, you can click Initiating Upgrade. Your device will shut down and start the iPad OS upgrade. This process will take about 10 minutes. After the progress is complete, your device will restart and prompt that the software update is complete. Next, complete the setup. Then you can start experiencing the fun of iPad OS 18. All right, this is all about how to download and install iPad OS 18 beta on your iPad. Please remember to back up your iPad data and check the preparations mentioned in the video to avoid data loss due to update failures. If my video helped you, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.